So I just wanted to cover a topic today regarding affirmations. And this one is a really important one because I'm sure it's something that many people have come across. I know I've come across it in my own life. And it is, why are my affirmations not working? So many people can start this, this journey with you know real enthusiasm and um, they can start saying affirmations to themselves throughout the day and and etc etc and um, but they notice nothing is changing they notice their life is staying the same they notice there's no great improvement in their lives and why would this be what is actually causing this to happen why are my affirmations not working when I've been persisting with them for weeks or months on end so anyway, so I'm just going to share with you a passage quickly from Joseph Murphy's sub, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind again. And it's a really, really great one because it, it really struck me the other day when I saw it. And the title of this little passage is Why Your Affirmations for Wealth Fail. Anyway, I'm just going to read it back to you. I have talked to many people over the years whose usual complaint is, I have said for, for weeks and months, I am wealthy, I am prosperous, and nothing has happened. I discovered that when they said, I am prosperous, I am wealthy, they felt within that they were lying to themselves. One man told me, I have affirmed that I am prosperous until I am tired. Things are now worse. I knew when I made the statement that it was obviously not true. His statements were rejected by the conscious mind, and the opposite of what he outwardly affirmed and claimed was made manifest. Your affirmation succeeds best when it is specific and when it does not produce a mental conflict or argument. The statements made by this, ma by this man made matters worse because they suggested his lack. Your subconscious mind accepts what you really feel to be true, not just idle words or statements. The dominant idea or belief is always accepted by the subconscious mind. So this, this comes back to what we were talking about before, about really everything that you believe is, is, is via an acceptance of truth. So whatever you accept to be true becomes your belief systems and then becomes your outward reality. So it's this, this process of acceptance of truth and then that becomes a reality. But the, but the crucial point to add in here which is so, so important, and this really does apply to affirmations of any kind, is that when you say the affirmation, you when we say we accept it as true, we don't just say, oh, I say this and I'm accepting it as true. We have to feel it as true. As he says here at the top, I, I discovered that when they said, I am prosperous, I am wealthy, they felt within that they were lying to themselves. Well, of course, this is so fundamental, isn't it, again? Because actually, if anything, you're then going to, if you're doing this, if, you, if you're saying if you're saying an affirmation and you're feeling within that it's a lie, well, what are we doing here? We're, we're actually creating more problems for ourselves. We're actually creating more negative belief systems. We need to feel that it's true. And, and this is something that Murphy emphasizes in a really beautiful way, that it's so important that there's a feeling in the body when you say this affirmation that, there's a feeling of truth there. There's a feeling that what you're saying, the words you're saying are true. And then you are communicating directly to the subconscious mind. Uh, you know, you're, you're creating, should I say, a new belief system, a new pattern of thought. Of you know, you're, you're saying, I am prosperous, I am wealthy. And you're believing, you're feeling that these things can actually happen in your lives. You're feeling that you are worthy of receiving prosperity and wealth and money or you know, obviously this can apply to anything, it can apply to any area of our lives, this 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 these statements. So it's not just confined to wealth. Uh so yes, so the feeling is the secret again, and very much coming back to sort of similar to what Neville used to say, obviously, this sort of idea that a deep conviction felt is much more powerful than anything you could ever think. So if we're just thinking idle thoughts and we're not feeling them as true and we're not therefore if we don't feel them as true we're not accepting them as true then of course we're not actually going to ever be recreate reprogramming those sort of negative belief systems we wish to shift to positive ones anyway i hope this was helpful to you today thanks very much bye for now